Hello YouTube, uh, this is something very new, uh, I never tried this Uniqlo uh, jeans and um, so just recently they you know, released like a new collection of um, you know, salvage uh, line and uh, uh, I think they only have two, they have uh, this one which is 100% cotton and they have also the denim with a stretch, like salvage with stretch uh, which is about 98% uh, cotton and 2% uh, uh, elastin. So, but I'm not a big fan of uh, stretch denim, so I really like just regular 100% cotton. And uh, so I decided to pull a trigger and try these ones. And uh, lately, Uniqlo became kind of a popular, and there is a lot of good feedback from uh, you know salvage denim fans. And uh, uh, let's dive into it and uh, take a look. So this is a pair from Uniqlo online store here in the US. Uh, the size is 35. The price was $59.90. Uh, what, you know, they, right away the description says that if you want like very slim uh, fit, don't buy this uh, jeans, which is, I agree, because this is a little more roomy. Uh, we'll get to the feet later on, and uh, but I'm glad they put the description on the website. Um, so the if you want to go for the slim cut, you could go for I think it's a 49.50. Actually, the stretch ones are a little um, you know a little more cheaper, you know 10 bucks cheaper. But but again, uh, there is a little issue. You know I'm not big fan of stretch them, but also the rise because I don't like very low rise and when I check those stretch ones I think it's about 10.5 which is very low for me because for me it has to be at least 11, 11.5 so um, okay this is again 100% denim from Kaihara I think they ex exclusively Uniqlo using you know Kaihara textile meal and uh, it to me it looks like about 13 they don't you know identify what the weight exactly, but it's about 13, maybe 13.5 ounces. I, I think it's more like a 13, 12.75. It's a little grayish, it's nice and starch. I mean, I like the, actually the stiffness, which means you're gonna have, you're gonna have a nice, if you wear it, you're gonna have like a nice fading and some kind of like line definition and the whiskers under the knee and uh, this is what it's all about. I think, you know, again, about the feet, I know it's a little roomy because I'm gonna, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put on myself, and um, <clears throat> I did try them on, and I would say it's a little too roomy for me because in the knee, it's more than nine inches. But again, this is, um, jeans is very utilitarian, and I think the simplicity, that's what it's all about here. They don't have any, like, bells and whistles, uh, there is no any like patches and flashy labels. It just very, it's sort of unbranded jeans and uh, that's what it's all about. It's, it, it's just the work pants, but at the same time, it's designed very well. It's simple, you know, I like even, you know, when you do the stitch, the, the color of the thread, it's, it's pretty nice, beautiful and subtle. Uh, it's kind of, it's not bright, like you see the, for example, this is this is Levi 501s. It's kind of like a bright orange here, and uh, this is like very kind of like a slightly like brownish. It's not an orange, like a beige. Like, let me just you know show it to you. Uh, and a beautiful actually color, kind of like a platinum color hardware, uh, like a metal button, as you see. Uh, same with the zipper. The zipper is kind of like a platinum, nice color. It's a YKK zipper. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it's, you know, like, like I said, aesthetically it's very well done. I'm, I'm really impressed how simple, but at, at the same time it's very nice. There is no rivets on these ones. So we have traditional, like a five pocket design, uh, uh, rivetless. Uh, you have just sort of like a bar tux. Uh, but but again, that's not going anywhere. It's it's it looks like it's pretty well done, um, as you can see from inside. Nice cotton. I would say it's a cotton polyester, but it feels nice, mostly like a natural feel, uh, not like those cheap mesh 
you have on uh, some brands like Wrangler in particular, which I actually I like the Wrangler brand, but the inside pocket lining, it's terrible. So it's a scratch on your skin. This is nice and soft. Um, you know, like I said, traditional coin pocket. So we'll get to the measurements uh, soon. Uh, nice and I like the size of this traditional five corner um, you know pockets on the back there is no lining um, you know just a regular like a nice kind of like a yoke here very traditional sort of like 501s in fact the the size of these pockets I, I like a lot they say bigger even this is this is a 501s check this out this is, this is pretty big but again they slightly like roomier they're a little bigger you know, <clears throat> I guess it's a style, you know, uh, so the, let's see, ID here, the selvage ID is just a white edge, I don't see, I don't see any red selvage, nice, as you can see, this is a chain stitch also, pretty nice, like they do in the premium jeans, uh, not like regular stitches. Um, so again, it's interesting because uh, Uniqlo <laughs> says that this is a good alternative to, um, you know, to Made and Crafted Levi's, but I think it's actually much better Made and Crafted, because Made and Crafted denim, it's not like, it's not premium Kaihara denim. So this is, this is pretty nice, I would say. It might take, you know, a while to get. I'm probably going to do update in six months, probably a year from now. So, like I said, it, this is more like a work pants and run around the city. Um, like I said, denim is great quality. It had like a little, like a grayish sort of a uh, color. Like it's normally the Kaihara. Yeah, it's pretty close to what Kaihara, like, you know, we, we've done review the Gap uh, 1969. It's, it's a very similar. I think actually Gap, it's more like a heavier, but let me see if you can see it. It's a nice and cre crisp white weft you can see through let me see let me try to show it to you if you can see uh, pretty well done there is no again there's no rivets there's a, just a bartox and I, I really like the color of this uh, thread it looks like poly cotton thread and uh, here's a, you know, let me show you the labels here there's a, just one Uniqlo label in the back um, so Made in Bangladesh here, there is a season label, and there is a, also like a small label underneath here, also says size 35 and made in Bangladesh. Um, yeah, like I said, this is pretty interesting because if you Google it, there is some post on the websites, but they look great when they're worn out, when people like do updates about like 12 months, you know, 18 months, even 16 months, uh, if you wear them properly, I would say I would do, I would just put them on just the way they are and would just wear for, you know, several weeks and maybe do initial soak. I don't think they would shrink a lot. I actually kind of bought it on the short side because my inseam normally it's about 29. So this is like 30. I, I don't think they would fiddle, you know, if they will shrink a little, I, you know, don't have to cuff it up. but. You know, they look just nice like this, cuffed up. Uh -huh. So, uh, let's see what else. So, like, we covered the zipper. So, let's do the measurements and see what's, you know. Yeah, um, I was gonna mention, because the reason I bought a 35, uh, now my normal size is 34. Like, this Levi's is like 34, and most of the jeans I buy 34, like Lee, I buy 33. But when I checked the reviews on Uniqlo website, People say buy like two sizes larger, and I agree. Actually, they they run a little small, so that's the one I got. That's why I got not 33 or 34. I got 35. And let's uh, just do like real quick measurements. Okay. So so it's interesting. There's also a label it says designed by a French designer. I can post later on this post. It's right here. So, okay, so let's do the measurements real quick. Okay. Yep, that's 18. 
which is which is actually perfect for me because I normally my size is 18 inches across. Um, so let's see. This is front rise. Front rise is 12 and a half. That's a little uh, like honestly, it's a little too high for me. Uh, but it's okay. We'll see. I'll put them on. We'll see how that looks. I'm sure they, you know, certainly wider in the thigh. So let's do the measure the thigh. Okay, from the crotch, and uh, let's do. Yeah, 13 and half, which is pretty wide because normally 501s is about 12.5, and you know the well 505 Levi's it's about 13 in the thigh. And let's do across the knee. Okay. Okay. At the knee, they will be nine, just less than nine and a half. It's about nine and nine and three sixteenths. At the ham, that's real quick. And the ham will have about. It's actually eight point five. Even so, yeah, it's uh, interesting because it close to sort of like I would say in measurements close to 505s, uh, 505 Levi's, but the the front rise a little high on the high side. I'm not so sure. So well, again, I'm gonna put them on, and we'll see at the end of this post. Denim I like a lot. All the finishes is nice. It's, I like the basic just just the simplicity. Pretty much, you know, sometimes the flashy one is a way, way too cheesy sort of, I don't know, I, you know, some Japanese brands are doing like very flashy patches and, you know, a bunch of labels and, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> the stitches like curves on the back pockets. This is just, a, like I said, like unbranded um, design and, um, you know, it might work well. You, again, a lot of people might like it. Price. I think it's for salvage denim, that's pretty decent price. It's probably, I don't know if they're gonna have a sale, but you might get a, you know, maybe 20% off, maybe like around, you know, 50 bucks, um, maybe 45 bucks. It's still, even even at this price, 59, you know, 90, it's still pretty nice, you know, for the salvage denim, because the, like I said, Kaihara is pretty nice denim. They do like for such a brand as a Visu, Baldwin, and some others, and uh, uh, like I said, I don't have any issues with it. It's pretty nice, very nice pair of jeans, and some people, they feel a little, oh, like some brands like Uniqlo, or like even Gap. In fact, they're very, very high quality sometimes when you, we, we've done it, actually, review of the Gap uh, salvage as well, and I still have them, and they worn pretty nicely. I will do update later, like about six months from now, and this one's, well, we'll see. So we'll put them on, and uh, again, thank you so much for uh, watching it, and um, please, you know, post the comments or questions if you guys, um, or, you know, whatever suggestions. So, and uh, so we'll post next, by the way, so I'm gonna do 21 ounce uh, heavy, heavy salvage denim by Lee, so made in Italy, that would be in the next couple of weeks coming. Thank you so much. Okay, again, this is uh, Uniqlo, regular fit, salvage denim jeans. So this is 100% cotton, this is sunflowerized, um, so it might you know, shrink just very little, but normally sunrise day and doesn't shrink too much. As you can see, they're slightly, you know, baggy than you would expect for, for example, 501s, Levi's. But I kind of like it, it's very comfy fit. It's a little baggy in the knee, but, but again, I have some slim fit jeans. You kind of have to mix it up sometimes, and it depends, you know, what you're doing. So, and uh, you know, I don't mind. I have probably about like a dozen uh, pair of jeans in my collection and maybe, you know, three or four of them would be like a little, little more like a loose fit. Okay. As you can see, the rise is a little higher. You know, I do, I do like actually high rise. This is, this may be slightly high, but it's not bad. They might, like I said, they might shrink a little bit. 
it, you know, uh, it's, it's again, it's up to you. Uh, some people like very low rises, but I'm not a big fan, and I kind of like a free movement, and, uh, you know, this is actually pretty nice, pretty nice fit. Again, I'm gonna post maybe six months from now, or maybe like a year, and uh, you guys will see how they fade in. So they should be kind of a nice fade because this is pretty, you know, pretty stiff and starchy, uh, even though it's not super heavy, but I think you can develop pretty nice fades. So uh, I definitely will do update later. Thank you so much for watching again.